So in this Debaco University video, we're gonna look at monitoring systems for indoor cannabis production. We talk about monitoring systems, there's a lot of things to monitor in an indoor cannabis production area. We're gonna focus more on the growing environment and not necessarily the security of the site, but I'm sure you'll find this information useful. All right, let's look at some of the monitoring systems for an indoor cannabis production environmental area. So first off, data is important. So you do not want to estimate conditions. Having some form of monitoring and or ideally documenting conditions is important. There are many options to consider when it comes to monitoring, but two main categories involve digital uh, data collection and analog uh, sensors. Some growers will use the digital systems as their primary while still having an analog as a backup or a fail safe because uh, there's some benefits uh, to both systems, which we're going to discuss here. So first off, the digital, and that's probably what most growers might be most familiar with. And the advantages, why is it so popular? Well, because it offers precise readouts. Can be uh, preset with minimums and maximums for levels of alarms. It's also very easy to read. It's very easy for a multitude of workers coming through an area to be able to read the data, collect that data, and be very precise about that and consistent. Uh, however, the disadvantages of that digital monitoring system is it can fail unexpectedly, more than just a battery is running out of a pH meter. It can provide sometimes too much information where you just get lost in the data. And often uh, digital monitoring systems are more expensive than their analog counterparts. So some of the advantages though to an analog system is that it's very simplified mechanics. They can last for a very long period of time. They're also uh, reliable and less prone to failure. Keep in mind in growing space, it's gonna be high humidity, high heat. Um, the analogs tend to be a little more resilient to some of those. Overall, analog monitoring systems are less expensive compared to the digital monitoring systems. So why aren't analogs always used? The disadvantages require manual readings and documentation. Someone has to go through and write down those numbers. They may not provide exact conditions. Someone may look at that and kind of like determine, oh, is that, um, 54, 55, you know, what am I looking at? Oh, it's 53, 53 and a half, 53 and a quarter. May not be precise as, as some may want to be. They also may need calibration to ensure that they're operating properly. So as a reason, these is again, some pros and cons to each. As I said, analogs can be used as backup to the digital ones, uh, but make a decision on which one would you want to have in your grow space.